Okay, so I'm gonna make a real quick video here in response to someone asking about um, cell shading. Uh, no, this may not be the best way to do it, but this is kind of how I do it just for, I actually don't know how well it would work in like a really detailed animation with really detailed stuff. I haven't really made anything that's heavily detailed, but for just uh, what I've done, I don't want that. Um, it's worked perfectly fine. Um, I mean, I've made some small uh, crappy test animations with it, and that's worked fine. Um, but don't quote me as being like a god uh, for anything that's more advanced because I don't know how it would come out. Um, so I got a little scene here. Let's see, bring materials. I'm gonna wanna go to ink and paint. Um, got color here, shade, highlights. Uh, I like to turn highlights on just cause I think it adds more to that effect. Um, you got your glossiness here. I usually just, Honest, honestly, I just usually leave everything at default, like ink quality and everything, um, paint levels. Like I said, if you're doing something a lot more detailed, it may be different, but for what I've been doing, it's fine. The only thing that I ever really change sometimes is outline. Because um, depending on what you're doing, I'll just do this real quick here. Um... with outline on is what it looks like outline off this is what it looks like so with the one I mean you, you got kind of like a, a border more of a borderlands the other it's kind of like I don't know was it Wind Waker that had that effect I can't remember one of the older games that used cell shading. It was it was kind of a different style from like what you see in Borderlands. But uh, so there's a little history lesson for you. Don't think the Borderlands was the first to do that because they weren't. Um, but that's that. I mean that's pretty much it. Um, I guess here's a little tip. If you want to copy things over real quick, you can just drag, drag. But be aware, you'll see here in a second, it will um, it, it'll keep the name and everything. So while you're copying over the settings, you are going to have to still do a little tweaking. But if, if, if you want to make a lot of the same thing, but, you know, just like slightly different, uh, it beats having to go and like open up the menu over and over and over again because that can get really tedious. Um, yellow, yay, um, yeah, you'll see here, our place, rename, so, green, gren, green, whatever, uh, what is this, pink, I guess, purple, purple is awesome, Red and yellow. One thing I have noticed with this, as you will see here, um, I'm not sure if it's just the way the geometry is on this. I mean, you could crank up like uh, paint levels and everything to fix this, but it kind of starts looking funky is you can see you're losing some of the detail in this too, like with the top of the teapot there. Um, that's just the way that works. I haven't really seen that problem on anything else, but be, be aware that it exists. I noticed that t it tends to exist in an area where you would see like a lot of highlights. Um, 
Let's see here where that highlight is on the, uh, was it a torus knot? And you see that's something where you don't see the outline going across right there and there. See there's heavy highlights right here. It's kind of like bleh there. Um, so that's, that's what's up with that. And I will create a quick animation with this um, off scene and uh, play it following me finish talking here so you can just kind of see how well it works with moving objects. All right, that's that then.